Hey everybody, welcome back to Rusty Guns. So I know you missed me last week, or maybe you didn't, uh, but I was on a family vacation in Florida. Um, so we're back today, and today I've got for you, we're going to be taking a look at and uh, reviewing the Walther PPS in 9mm. And this is the compact, it's very slim line, be similar to like your uh, Glock 43 models, it's got that kind of same thin line. Um, and this is actually uh, my daughter's boyfriend's gun, uh, Logan, who you guys may have seen in one of the other videos. Uh, we'll bring him back because I know you ladies like to see Logan. Um, but he's actually still down in Florida, so he didn't want to go through the trouble of flying back with the gun, so he just had me bring it back. And uh, so I'm going to do a review with this gun, and uh, we'll go outside, take a few shots with it and everything. Um, I have actually never fired. Uh, a Walther PPS like this. Um, I fired other Walthers, um, but not one like this. So this is going to be new to me, um, and reviewing it will be new to me. Um, so you guys get to learn along with me. Um, but first, let's take it up to the workbench, and we'll go over uh, everything we. All right, so we're up here at the workbench. Uh, yeah, I got a new friend. We're going to call him Willie. Um, but the Walther PPS, like I said, it has a nice slim line to it. So it's a good compact gun. Uh, has the textured grip runs all the way around, even onto the finger grooves. Um, so yeah, it has finger grooves. Uh, those of you that have the big meaty hands might not like it because of, of the finger grooves. Um, for me, my hands aren't, my fingers aren't that big, so it actually fits pretty nice. Um, there is a little bit of an overlap right here on this finger onto that part of the groove, but you know, it still feels perfectly fine. Um, <clears throat> the outside look of the gun, it looks really good. I, lo I mean, it's a good looking gun. Um, the ejection port area right here, um, not as big as what you'd see on a Glock. Usually this part would be cut off. Um, but, you know, we'll take it out, we'll shoot it, we'll see how, how it does. But I don't think it's going to be an issue or anything. Um, same kind of takedown tabs as the Glock right here, um, but on the Glock, uh, it's they sit up maybe just a little bit farther in front of the trigger. Um, but these are nice and thick as compared to the Glocks. The Glocks are really small and are kind of hard to get to. With this being cut out like this, it makes this a little bit easier to grab these and pull these down. Um, has the same kind of uh, trigger kind of safety thing right here as on the Glock and many other guns um, but with this one I like this one a little I like this one better and I like the feel of the trigger on my finger pad better than the Glock um, let me show you this Glock 26 if you guys have Glocks or you know about them um, right inside on the fingers there's more grooves on this on this finger pad and then if you look See if we can get a good look at this. I'm hoping that zooms in right. Um, but that little piece is kind of really straight off on the Glock and it sticks out pretty far off that trigger. And it gives like a really kind of, to me, it gives me an awkward feel on the trigger. Whereas what Walther did was, is that little piece doesn't stick out as far, but it's also curved to kind of match up with the trigger. So it actually gives a better feel on the finger pad. Um, so that part I like is, and this is a Glock Model 26, so it's a little bit fatter of a gun. Uh, the sight length on both of these is, a, is the same. So if you have a 26, the sight distance from the rear sight to the front sight is the same. Um, the breakdown, um, oh, one of the other things is, um, without the mag in it, the slide does move um, because with some guns um, you have to have a magazine in it to to move the slide um, I don't like that feature so I'm glad that this one doesn't do that uh, but anyway the breakdown on it's basically the same as a Glock um, and then dry fire it and then pull back on the tab slightly comes apart breaks down virtually identical to a Glock spring barrel 
and then there's the rest of it and you can see a lot of similarities to the way the Glocks are the grooves are a little bit deeper in here than what you'll find in a Glock the Glocks are a little uh, flatter grooves in there <coughs> this one does have uh, the adjustable front sight in here it's tab so you can raise that front sight up or bring it down rear sights also adjustable on the inside a little bit more metal in here than what you typically find in a Glock so that gives it a little bit of extra weight better feel almost um, so I'm sure the recoil on this is probably going to be a little bit less than what you're going to find in a Glock um, because of the extra metal a little bit of extra weight so let's go ahead and throw this back together Like so, slide walk. So, everything on it is really nice. Um, now, as far as when we get to the trigger on the trigger pull, the trigger pull is nice, but there's also uh, a couple things I noticed with it. On the first take up, you can feel that first take up, which is fine, and it's not super smooth but it's not like gritty or anything either but there's just the slight take up and you'll see this back indicator coming out that the firing pin is starting to come back and then on that second bit as you come back you guys won't be able to see it but I can feel it that right before there's another little take up right there and now if I bring this if I pull back any harder it'll fire so there's like a double take up so that first take up is noticeable right here and then there's a second take up right there and then it breaks so and it breaks right after that second take up so um, that's something you can get used to and you'll know you, that first take up and then there's that like I said it's a really slight second take up but it's there uh, and then the gun breaks nice and clean so let's go take this outside. We'll shoot some rounds and uh, see how she fires. All right, so I got the target set up down there. Hey Thor, how you doing? Uh, and I didn't show you how many uh, rounds this mag holds because I wanted to do it out here. But we'll just load up the mag. We'll find out how many. So one. <laughs> Thor quit. <laughs> Crazy dog. Two. <laughs> Three. Okay, you can quit licking me. I don't. The bullets. I don't need any lube on the bullets. Four. Now the sheep are out here. It's a party, man. Five. Six. There's like seven. Seven. So, seven in the mag, one in the gun. So you can hold a total of eight. We'll go ahead and take a few shots. As soon as I can get the sheep to get out of the way. Yeah. 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 Alright, got the sheep out of the way, so we'll go ahead and take a few shots. Uh, about ten yards away. I jerked on a couple of those, so I got a couple that flew off, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm milking the trigger, so I'm pulling a few uh, to the left. So recoil's fine on it. Don't feel any problems with it. All right, seven more. Stay there, Thor.
We fired seven more tons on that one on the left, so. And notice if I'm not milking the trigger and I'm not rushing it, it's pretty dang accurate. And six, because I only brought 20 rounds out. So, I'm gonna shoot these six rapid succession at the one that's on the right, um, just to see how it feels if you shoot it uh, really quickly. So let's go up and take a look, see how well it did. So the first one I'll show you is the one that was on the left, where I took a little bit more time. Uh, there, you, there you go. So these shots where I was making sure I was getting good clean shots, these, a little bit of, little bit of me squeezing a little bit too quickly, not making sure I got a good sight picture. So getting a good sight picture, grouping them pretty nicely. So here's the one on the left. We should have 13 holes here. We've got two up high up here, just off the target. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nope, that's two holes. 10, so it's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep, because that's two holes right there. So 13 there, so all on target, two, two a little high, so. But it's a good shooting gun, so I mean, even shooting those in rapid succession, um, you can still get them center mass 10 yards off, no big deal. Um, again, it's all a matter of taking your time when you're getting that good sight picture to make sure that you're hitting exactly where you want. I keep looking at this little mirror thing. <laughs> so. As long as you're looking and getting a good sight picture, you can get them, you know, you can group those really, really tight together. But even if you're not getting that good sight picture and you're just shooting rapidly, you can still get them on target and, and make good shots. Um, but yeah, Walther PPS, I like it. So let's get back upside and uh, take a little bit better look at the gun because it's actually starting to rain right now. I, mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it's and it's coming down harder and harder so let's get out of here oh sorry logan about getting your gun wet but you know it's all for the videos man it's all for that all for the subscribers we do anything we get wet we bring the dog out the sheep thunder uh-oh all right let me get up here all right so we're back up here at the workbench. Go ahead. Nice and safe. Let's see how dirty 20 rounds makes this gun. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Still pretty clean. So, but yeah, a gun gun functioned fine uh, no problem with it ejecting or anything like that zero hiccups um, good shooting little gun um, definitely a good uh, you know self-defense gun or you know an everyday carry gun you know this is a this is another really good gun by Walther um, don't really know what else to tell you, you guys have any questions uh, feel free to ask um, Oh, if you're worried about my animals out there, my sheep, the reason they go down there when they see me getting ready to shoot is because before we, sometimes we shoot vegetables and things like that, and so it's like a free meal to them, so whenever they see us coming down there, uh, they immediately congregate over to where we're going to be shooting at because they think there's going to be free food again. Uh, and Thor is just Thor. He, he just wants attention, and so he immediately comes up to you and, you know, he's all over you. Um... That is as long as he knows you <laughs> and you're not trying to mess with the sheep. Uh, but anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, what do you think, Willie? Willie likes it. All right, guys. Take care. We'll see you next time.